It is time to create with Quimby. Give your loved ones and postal service workers a little something extra <laughs> to look at when they're searching for your home. Our DIY extraordinaire showing us how to craft your very own house number flower box. Yes, Shannon Quimby joining us now in studio to walk us through this project. Always great to... Oh. Always great to uh, see oh, you yes. again. Hello. Hey. I'm like uh, Home Improvement. It's like Wilson across the fence. No, that's right. Um, all right. This is really, really neat. Uh, uh -huh. Not only is it it's stylish, it's functional. It's easier to see. And uh, look, you, you can plant flowers there in it as well. Yeah. In it. yeah. Exactly. Yeah. We're, we're dressing up the address, boring address numbers. Uh -huh. Yeah. I love yeah. that. Yeah. I love that. And it's really easy. So all we're going to do is we're going to start. It's just five pieces and, and um, address numbers. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. So while I'm talking about it, you guys can put some gloves on oh. and right. you can start planting the flower box. Oh, All right, good. let's okay. do it. Yeah. Okay. So the first part is, and actually this is literally just one board. It's just uh, one one, ten, uh, one by ten. Okay. That's all it is. Okay. And cut all these pieces. You just cut some pieces That's off. That's right. So the first one is you want to cut it about, mm, I would say, about three feet long. That's this tall one right here. Okay. Okay. Now you can accommodate this to whatever size you want, you know, if you, on your house. If you want to go smaller or larger, that's fine. Gotcha. Then the next is you're going to cut uh, four smaller pieces. Two sides, about five and a half inches, and we got all these instructions. We can put this, you know, for the measurements right on this on the guys' right, Facebook right. page. Yeah. I feel really sorry for this flower. It's oh, just, it being yeah. in my oh, care. Oh, squeeze it, squeeze it from We're the bottom. We're squeezing yeah. from the bottom. Squeeze it from the bottom. Mm -hmm. the bottom and then, then we have a front. And break up the roots a little bit. And then we have a bottom. Okay. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, you just squeeze it. It's all right. So, uh, <laughs> so you cut those with the chop saw. Then, obviously, the uh, key thing is you want to drill the bottom. You want to put some holes in it. Right. Mm. Okay, the so because you want to have mm -hmm. the plants drain, because if not, it's that just going to rot out really quick. Okay. Yeah. Right. So, you just get a large drill bit, and you can, you know, it doesn't matter where you dr um, drill the holes, just mm -hmm. in the center. Okay, not on the sides. <laughs> okay, yeah, good call, good yeah. call. Yeah. It's, like, yeah. it's, like, it's like a dice. It's like a five on a dice. Oh, That's yeah. what, Ooh, there you go. There you go. Oh, That's yeah. the, the term uh -huh. I'm thinking. So then you just basically want to uh, glue everything together, and I've got this one here. It's easier if you get a clamp as you're gluing it. Okay. So you just, all this, look, you can't even see me here. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to squeeze in real tight. <laughs> yeah, go for it. But um, all the edges, you want to get some nice um, exterior wood glue because this is going to be outside. Okay. And then clamp it together and let it dry. And then you want to reinforce it with some, and I'm going to turn this down here like this, mm. so you'll see the clamp. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you'll want to reinforce it with nails, probably one and a half inch or two and a half inch nails. Mm -hmm. And you're just mm -hmm. basically hammering on all the sides and the corners. And okay. you can kind of see this in the front. Right. And then I just, you know, you can paint this, you guys. Um, I always like to stain it. I like to get the richness of the wood. Mm -hmm. um, and... Here, Travis, if you want to. Oh, sure. So you right? got your gloves on. I do. I you have got the gloves, your gloves on. Yeah. And this you, is the same the as, as, as you've already painted here. Exactly, yeah. Where do you and want don't me to start here? Wherever you want. I don't oh, care. Oh, yeah. This could yeah. Be. yeah. No lines for you to stay no inside. Yeah. <laughs> this is great. You can just go. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. yeah. This is a great Travis <laughs> This DIY. It is. This is a good Travis DIY. There are no rules. There are no rules. And so, you know, and you just maybe put, it only takes about one coat of the stain. Okay. And then before it was stained, you never want it to dry. You wanted to let it sit for about, I would say, about 10 to 20 minutes okay. before it gets tacky, and then you wipe off any of the excess. Mm, gotcha. gotcha. Got okay. It? okay. Okay. So once that's all done, then you just take your address numbers, and I got this, uh, you can get them at any home improvement show. Mm -hmm. Right. And you just measure and mark, you know, the distance and screw Throw them in, on you guys. Them it's on really there. simple. What I made love you it. think of this? What, where did this idea come from? Oh, well. I'm remodeling my house. It's okay. called the Hoffs Homestead, which I'm really excited about. And they got these crusty old address numbers. You know, <laughs> like, how can we, do, you know, jazz this up and, you know, add a little flash to the front? Yeah. Sure. Nice. Well, well, I, well just, I love how customizable it is because you could, you could paint the wood to match your house. You could stain it. You know, mm -hmm. whatever decor you've got going on, the numbers can be custom to your scheme and your style. And then you could do different seasonal plants. You can. Yeah. You, yeah. Yeah. It's year round. You know. Yeah. It's, yeah. You can put little letters in there, you know, it's a lot of fun. And it's like I said, it's just one board. Mm -hmm. You can get a par lumber, no problemo. 
you know, piece of cake. Yeah, Super it's really cool. easy. That's, that's great. Okay, so you're going to be giving one of these away. If you if you don't want a DIY and you want one of the uh, the fun ones that Shannon made herself, how oh, can people enter? You don't want this one? You don't want that one. <laughs> <laughs> I'll fix it up. Yeah, okay, good, okay. Yeah. <laughs> but where can people find Facebook, it? Right? Doing a Facebook giveaway? Um, we're donating both of these to the Habitat for Humanity oh, Restore. Oh, fantastic. Great. Well yeah, done. That's well great. done. Yeah, very, it is. Very, very cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you want to check this out for yourself, we're going to post the instructions, the materials, step-by-step step, everything you need from Shannon on coin.com you can go there for all the materials and be sure to follow Shannon on Facebook for more ideas and fun things to go check out